throw it. Half these sisters walking through here got PTSD and don't even know it. We got PTSD. We have PTSD from what? From the environment that we live in. I already know. Every time a car go past, brothers looking at the car. Why? Because some of you been shot before. Or you had to run from a car. I know. Verse 12, yea, they made their hearts as inanimate stone. They did what? They made their hearts as inanimate stone. Meaning you can't get through to them. They not trying to hear nothing you got to say. They know it all. Look around, we don't know it all. Look around. We know nothing if we, what they say, the saying is what, if you know better, you do better. Look at Humble Park. Meanwhile, while we killing each other, it's getting gentrified all up and through here. And sooner or later, they're going to push you all up. That's what's going on right now around you. Then they just make a quote-unquote virus in the lab and kill them that half of us. We too busy people with each other. You people with him because what? He cheating. You strong. You vice lord. You a king. You a SD. That's why y'all beefing. You beefing over a block that you don't own. You beefing over a block right now. They can send the National Guard through and move everybody off the corner. Bring it out. That's what we beefing over. We. Least they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts have sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Read that part again. Yea, they made their hearts as adamant stone. So you made your hearts like a stone. A rock is hard. Meaning can't nobody get through to you. Read. Least they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts have sent in his Hold spirit. On. Least you should hear these words and change. Least you should hear these words and turn your life around. Least you should hear these words and escape from death. Any of y'all follow legal help on Facebook? Damn near everybody that pop up on legal help is, is between the ages of 18 and 35. That's the youth dying. From what? Gang violence. Or you at a wild party, having sex, getting high, and somebody comes spray the party up. That's you following your way, your thoughts, and how you feel. Read. Least they should hear the Lord and the words which the Lord of hosts have sent in his spirit uh -huh. by the former prophets. By the former prophets. Meaning what? It was men of old doing what we doing right now. Trying to tell the people, change. Change your ways before God let loose his wrath. We therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Therefore came what? Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Therefore came a great wrath from God. God is angry. Why you think it feel like it seems like we always got a foot up our behind? Why is that? Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Why is that? Why do we seem like the black and Hispanics always get the short end of the stick? It's a reason behind it. It's because you're not following what God says. It's that simple. Just that simple. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Read it again. But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments. So that was the instructions from the beginning. God told Moses to tell us Tell the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, the Native Americans, 
if they don't listen to me and follow my rules, my instructions, we and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Bad thing is going to happen to you if you don't listen to me. That's what God said. Look at where we live, brothers. Look at where we live, sisters. You can't tell me it's not us. Verse 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, uh -huh. and cursed shall thou be in the field. Read it again from the top. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Read it again. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Stop. When you look at from 1619, when we got brought on the shores of America and up, we was cursed in every city half. They made us slaves in every city in America. No matter where we were, slavery was being upheld. Slavery was the law. If we ran away, we got lynched, murdered, wives raped, killed. That was cursed in every city. Ku Klux Klan rising up in every city. How we cursed in the city today? Low income housing, something that we think is is uh, something to cherish, something to be proud about. Every low-income area, what is it? Roach infested, rat infested, full of violence. Trash. Trash everywhere. Unkept homes. In some low-income buildings, our people move into and they damn near finna fall on the ground. That's cursed in the city. This Bible ain't talk about nobody but you. What's cursed in the city? In your neighborhood, you go to sleep to sirens, police sirens, ambulance, fire truck, every night and you don't think nothing is wrong with that. Those white people that stay in the suburbs, they don't go to sleep to sirens. They don't go to sleep to shots. They don't go to sleep to somebody selling squares out their window. But you do, that's cursed in the city. Read it again. Curse shall thou be in the city. Stop. They talk about army and military come back with PTSD. I bet half these brothers right here got PTSD and don't even know it. Half these sisters walking through here got PTSD and don't even know it. We got PTSD. We have PTSD for what? From the environment that we live in. I already know. Every time a car go past, brother's looking at the car. Why? Because some of you been shot before. Or you had to run from a car. I know. Guess what, brothers and sisters? That's not normal. For you to tense up when you see a car with tents. You, you up here reaching or you getting ready to run. That's not normal. That's not life. Read. Curse shall thou be in the city and cursed shall thou be in the field. How was we cursed in the field? Picking cotton, picking sugar cane, picking fruit. The so-called Mexicans, I'm saying so-called because that's not your real name, you still picking damn bananas and getting paid low wages. But during the 1800s, 1700s, we gave them free labor. We built this country and then get a dime for the work we put in. Fast forward to today, who the one keeping the lights on in all these skyscrapers? Us. Who the ones they call to build up their houses, their new developments on the west side? Us. That ain't nothing but blacks and Hispanics busting their behind working. Some of y'all got quote unquote good jobs, but you still can't make ends meet. You barely can pay your rent. That's cursed in the field. Wake up. Read on. Verse 17. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Humble Park is black and Hispanic neighborhood. Some of you Hispanics got your own store. But guess what? You don't own nothing in that store. You pay for the building, but you got to go to the white man to buy all of your products. Meaning what? If you don't shop with him, you have no store. So how is you in a better predicament than everybody else? 
Tell me this ain't us in the Bible. Read. Curse shall thou be. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Read that again. Curse shall curse shall be the fruit of thy land and the fruit of the Curse shall be the fruit of thy land. News flash Hispanics. You rule this side of the earth. You own all of this land before the so-called white man came over here. Now you paying rent. Explain that. Explain it. How you go from building all these monuments, building all these pyramids over here. Now you paying rent. How did it happen? Because you didn't follow God. And we still not doing it. It's simple. It's not mathematics. It's not hard to understand. We don't follow God. That is why we are suffering. Read. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body. Hold on. Curse shall be the fruit of your body. What does that say? Curse shall be the fruit of your body. Your kids can't even go to school without fear of what? Gunshots. Without fear of what? Police brutality. That's cursed. That's the fruit of your body being cursed. But when the so-called white man, the Arab man, the East Indian man, they send their kids to school and they have no worries. Only the blacks and Hispanics, we worry. I hope my son gets to school safe. I hope he get back home safe. I hope don't nobody mess with him on the bus. I hope he ain't get into no fight. Those are the only things that's on our mind. Downtown in the South Loop, they don't have to worry about that. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.